Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. So, goblins. There's a few ways to build a goblin deck nowadays. I think we want to try out a new 6-mana uh, rare. Muxus Goblin Grandee. 6-mana 4-4 four, four. Goblin Noble. When Muxus enters the battlefield, reveal top 6 cards of your library, put all Goblin creature cards with converted mana cost 5 or less onto the battlefield. So top 6 cards. So think Collected Company. But instead of hitting 2 things, you can potentially hit a lot more. Can't hit other copies of Muxus, otherwise you could kind of go infinite. And then Muxus, when he attacks, gets plus infinite, plus infinite. Seems pretty strong. Multiple ways to give Muxus haste with either the Chieftain or the uh, other 3 mana one, which I'm blanking on. And uh, Warchief. So Warchief and Chieftain both enable Muxus to attack the turn we play him. So that seems like a good starting point for a goblin deck. Then typically you wouldn't look at Wily Goblin, but in a deck that's interested in ramping towards Muxus, I think Wily Goblin is a fine addition. It makes a treasure token when it enters battlefield. And then uh, Snoop is a nice card advantage goblin. We do care about number of goblins, so Instigator still seems quite good. Great with a Chieftain and helps pump Muxus an additional time. It seems like uh, Krenko is going to be good too, especially with those instigators, giving us additional goblins, and it's also great if we find one of our haste goblins so we can activate it right away, so it does have natural synergy with Chieftain and Warchief. So let's say we do two or three Krenkos, don't know the number yet. Four Muxus could also be too many. And then, I'm not sure how we want to fill out a deck. It seems strange to play a goblin deck without a ringleader in it. So that seems like a, a fine addition. Although it might be unnecessary now that we have Muxus, who knows. And then Prospector at one mana, another way to generate mana to ramp into Muxus. Great with uh, tokens from Instigator too. So this could be essentially our deck. Could also play Goblin Matron to search up Muxus, and then we have to play fewer copies. Goblin Goon, remember this one? I remember it having different art. So yeah, I think the considerations now are, do we play Goblin Matron to search up Muxus? Do we play any other three drops like Goblin Chain Whirler? Maybe Krenko, also good with haste from Chieftain and Warchief. So these are all considerations. Gem Palm for removal. Although Gem Palm's not great to hit with Muxus, because it doesn't really have any effect when we put it in play. So it doesn't seem like the best card there. Siege Gang is also an option, just to make more tokens. And we can hit it with Muxus. Although it might also be overkill, because if we're getting a Muxus in play, we probably win the game anyway. Volley Veteran, also an option, can hit it with Muxus and it's fine to just cast. A Ruin Blaster would probably be more of a sideboard card. Also not the best synergy with Muxus since we need to pay the kicker cost to actually destroy a land. Yeah, I don't think any of the cards on the left, I guess like Ringleaders and maybe, but I like everything else here. Yeah, now with Krenko, I don't think we need Siege Gang Commander as much. And then we need 24 lands, so it's going to be 4 castle and uh, 20 mountains, most likely. Like, Ringleader seems kind of too good not to play when our deck is all goblins. How many Krenkos? Two or three. It's only great if we have a haste enabler in play. Yeah, we could go minus one Muxus, minus one Krenko, and then play a couple goblin matrons, maybe. Although Goblin Matron gets so much better if we're going to play a couple Volley Veterans and one-offs like Goblin Chain Whirler. The problem with four Matrons and a Toolbox is that we just don't have space for it. Because he had a Chieftain, probably has to be in the deck to make Muxus good. And if that's the case, 
the three drops are pretty full because Warchief is also not gonna go. So I've got eight three drops already. So I could play two matrons just to search up Muxos and Krenko every time. Maybe that's still okay, or maybe like the haste enablers if we don't have those yet. And then we don't have any removal, but maybe this deck doesn't need removal since we just go wide with Krenko tokens and Muxus just provide so much value. Or I could play a one-off, like one removal goblin, whether it's a Chain Whirler or a, um, a Volley Veteran. Maybe one Chain Whirler is still okay. Heraldic Banner, definitely consideration, just because it ramps and it pumps our goblins. Although we do want to maximize the number of actual goblins in the deck for Muxus and for Ringleader. So any non-goblin card really needs to be very good. And while Banner's good, I don't think it's necessarily very good. Yeah, it's kind of tough to make cuts nowadays. We've got so many goblins. But I'm pretty happy with this configuration, I think. Nah, let's give this a shot. Yeah, playing Call of the Death Dweller to combo with Chain Whirler is a different approach. Don't really want Call of the Death Dweller in a Muxus deck. Well, if Chieftain survives, this could be pretty exciting. So I think it makes sense to play Instigator. That way we have additional goblins in play the turn we play Kranko. Hmm. I think I'm just hoping to draw the lands. Opponents ramping. So they shouldn't have too much removal at least. And if we don't draw land, we'll just chieftain it up. Quasi duplicate elves, okay. Oh yes. Wow, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> nice. Steam vents untapped. Alright, so that was a nice showcase of Chieftain and Krenko. And now we gotta see Muxus in action. Aha, uh -huh, opponents also on Goblins, but they're on the Chain Whirler plus Call of the Death Dweller version. Could have maybe attacked with uh, Wily Goblins since they're likely gonna Chain Whirler me anyway. So I could have gotten one damage in. Alright, well, Double Ward Chief is pretty strong. And there's Muxus for next turn. Alright, I'm excited. Trade for the token instead of the instigator in case of Call of the Death Dweller. And we'll just mux us and then we'll see what else we hit. Alright. Suppose we could have. <laughs> Alright. Opponent explodes. Suppose we could have played War Chief first and then mux us. Chieftain and Krenko in the first game, and then Warchief and Muxus in the second game. Alright, no two drops, but I've got a few of those in the deck. Ooh. 
Well, if they cure Subsession next turn and encounter my creatures one by one, it's gonna be rough. I guess they're afraid of a removal spell, maybe. Should maybe keep up full control here, but I'm not gonna bother. Yep. Alright, I get to resolve one more card, basically, this game. It better be a good one. Alright. Not gonna attack in case of Trickster. Yeah, I'm not gonna resolve another card. Ooh, maybe I am. Alright, so let's make the most of this. War Chief into Franco. And we'll pass. Maybe should activate now. No attacks. So I'm probably dying in two turns here. Who knows, maybe they're playing a version without a ton of counter spells. 7, 10, 11, I go to 1. So your opponent plays defense. So they must be holding some counter spells. Ooh, now Prospector kind of forces them to use a counter spell here. Otherwise, I get access to a ton of mana. And then I can maybe still do something afterwards. Oh wow, this is a huge deal. Alright, so how do we sequence this? Probably make tokens with Kranko first. Yeah, this has to be countered basically. Opponent's being very patient about this. Maybe they've got a Merfolk Trickster to remove the plus one plus one bonus. Do I play Ringleader now? Do I just jam Moxes? I mean, I could play another Kranko here. Now let's play another Kranko first. I guess I shouldn't have sacked a token yet, but that's fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although I can just pay for this. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to time out. They might have another counter spell, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. I guess we kind of did it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Krenko seems kind of insane. Maybe we want a third Krenko. Goblins is kind of nuts. Yeah, maybe Ringleader is just not needed when we can just win the game instead. So 
So how about three Krenko mob boss, three ringleaders, and a matron can search up both Muxas and Krenko. Yeah, this seems fine. Our deck really just wants a Haze Goblin into a Krenko or a Muxus with a bit of ramp. And Krenko plus Kirk Prospector is kind of insane too. Never thought I would be cutting a Ringleader from a Goblin's deck, but here we are. The only other one drops we would consider are the Firebrand. And while Firebrand is nice at killing random Lanor Elves, it doesn't seem super important in this build. Alright. This might just be a control deck getting a free Kahira. Hopefully it's an actual creature deck. It looks like control. Against control, Snoop is nice. So this is a matchup where Ringleader would be much better than Krenko. Kaya's Wrath. I think I would rather have Warchief post Wrath as opposed to Chieftain, but maybe I'm wrong. I guess having one of each is just nice. I mean, I guess Narset at 1 doesn't matter too much. And we don't actually draw any cards. This is overwhelming. Now if they had the other companion, it would be a different story. Oh wow, they actually hit a Wily Goblin in hand, that's rough. All right, back up Snoop. Mux is on top. Yeah, Legion's End is only converted mana cost two or less. I mean, Muxes, they kind of have to counter. So War Chief enables Muxes next turn, even without a land. Hardcast Shark Typhoon. All right. Well, let's uh, hope this works out. Opponent could just be dead here. Yeah, I would say they're pretty dead. And, I mean, this is probably enough. Yeah, this Muxus card seems pretty good. Is Goblins actually tier 1 now? I think it might be. No jokes. Like, we play Muxus, usually wins the game on the spot. Play Krenko with any haste enabler, usually win the game on the spot. We've got Snoop for card advantage. Prospector for mana advantage, Ringleader for more cards. So playing a control deck, you really need counter spells since removing goblins one by one is just not going to work. So what's the alternative? Like maybe a cheap burn deck, but it, even a burn deck, if they kill your chieftains and war chiefs, they still need to deal with the card advantage from Ringleader and eventually Muxus. And what are other popular decks? I guess like a life gain deck could maybe be tough if they get an early Pride Maid in play, but 
you can eventually just put a Cranko in play and start chumping each turn with the goblins and eventually go wide enough to kill them. Although I guess Soul Warden means that they gain one life for each goblin, but eventually the goblins still take over. Like, Soul Warden's not gonna really stop us, plus we still have Chain Warlord to search up. Cranko, Chieftain and Muxus are three amazing additions. Like, if you take out one of these three, the deck is still quite good, but the fact that we now have eight haste enablers for the Cranko and for the Muxus makes it all the more consistent, because then when we play Muxus, we're pretty likely to find a haste giver so we can attack in the same turn. So our opponents can basically never tap out or not have any blockers out. And against Field of the Dead, like, same story. They can make a couple zombies, but you eventually just go wide enough with Cranko. So they really need, like, an Ugin to stabilize. I guess Ugin does it. If they just Ugin minus, it's kind of difficult to recover. But yeah, they still need to have it. And we can potentially kill them before they get Ugin out. So yeah, goblins might be the real deal. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.